what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here since about friday the 13th it's been a while since we talked about this franchise but we have an update regarding the court struggle that it's been dealing with for the past many years at this point this update is coming to us from larry zerner who played shelly in friday 13 part 3 he went on to become this lawyer he's been providing all the updates while this has been happening so yesterday he put out these several these this tweet thread of updates he said it's 4 p.m and i still don't see a cert petition filed with the supreme court in the friday the 13th case what does this mean well it means the case is officially over and victor miller owns the rights to this screenplay or to his screenplay in friday the 13th but only in the u.s there is an important question he has here at the at the uh, second half can victor and sean just each make their own separate movies not really because victor only owns u.s rights and only to the first grip and sean's owns adult hockey mask wearing jason but can't legally use him in a movie without victor's permission it's complicated then the final thing he said was hopefully we'll hear some good news in the future in the meantime this friday is sean's 80th birthday so everyone please wish sean a very happy birthday no trolling and we will see what 2022 brings happy new year everyone so of course if you want to go ahead and read that thread on his twitter page there's a lot more details because i think he also put out his idea that he thinks that they're working on some type of resolution where they are having discussions about how to go about making a new movie that they both can agree on that being victor and sean in this case victor miller and sean cunningham so honestly i think the adult version jason is the is the route most fans will want to see because if you can somehow make a follow-up to the 2009 reboot then i think that'll satisfy a lot of people but if you just go ahead and do the reboot route once again i don't think there will be that many people that will be against it only because of how far in the ether jason has been since that 2009 film i mean the the best thing jason has had since then was a decently enough game from gun media that honestly was cut short from it, the potential it had was cut short because of this court struggles that they've been having going on and hopefully we get to see something in the future from this franchise honestly the the thing about it is i would say that it's better to think that we will get another film to just for these two to make up for all this money that they've wasted in court going back and forth about this issue that they've had but we could also end up in a scenario where we ultimately don't ever see Jason Voorhees again because of them not being able to come to a agreement on anything regarding what the next step should be for them as it relates to going further in with the franchise, how to make some money back from, again, the money that they've wasted in court. Uh, and, you know, I say that they've wasted it and us, the fans, have paid the price for it because I know a lot of you have wanted to see another jason film for quite some time i've made some videos in the past talking about all the different things some different things i meant to say that they've talked about in the past for ideas that were out there for potential sequels and follow-ups that we could have i guess could see happen still if things go a positive route between victor and sean the honest opinion i have about this is that i just hope that we get a movie that would spawn a resurgence of the character so that way it can have at least one final good run last hoorah just like how michael's had a resurgence just like how ghostface is having its resurgence and well a resurgence and when i say with ghostface if screen 5 is successful and we end up getting multiple sequels then i guess you could call it a resurgence but with michael he's definitely having a resurgence right now it's going to conclude this upcoming year with halloween ends but jason and freddy they have just been not participating in this chucky has season two coming out next year there's just so many things that freddie and jason are missing out on because most of the significant slashers have made a comeback in some way shape or form michael being the one that's been the most successful i would say since his comeback given the success of the 2018 film and the success of halloween kills and now we have halloween ends that will write off that trilogy that we have but again michael but again what i meant to say was freddie and jason they've not been a part of all this all this buzz that these slashers have been getting with the resurgence so i would love for jason to have a film that comes out that either spawns a spawns a few more entries afterward i just don't see interest in a jason or friday the 13th movie without the adult jason at this point it's he's been the staple since the second entry since friday the 13th part two he's been a staple the hockey mask became another huge component of the state of that of that character staple in the third entry so revisiting anything like i guess with uh 
Mrs. Voorhees, I feel like would be, depending on how you portray it on screen, I, I just feel the, the need and the necessity to make enough, to make money would come from you bringing adult Jason back, not doing anything but that. Not to say that you can't do anything but bring adult Jason back. I just feel that that is where the money would be for these two. Because again, they have wasted money in court. <laughs> Uh, they let their egos get get the best of them and they've been in court for years. So, you know, I don't have all the ins and outs of it because then this is not my court trouble. This is between those two grown men. But it's just the fact of the matter. If they really, in my opinion, are looking at trying to make money back from what they've lost, then it would be doing a movie with the adult Jason, not doing anything but that. Because, again, you can make a movie that doesn't include adult Jason and that can still be a good movie. But I'm thinking that if these two really are going to try to come to a resolution, it would be about what is going to make them the most money. And I think that would be reviving the character that horror fans are m more familiar with when they talk about Friday the 13th. Case in point, how Casey Becker <laughs> answers that question uh, to Ghostface in the original Scream. Uh, instead of saying Mrs. Voorhees, she says Jason and that's incorrect. So... I think bringing back adult hockey match Jason would be the best course of action. You could explore a, a variety of different things. You could give us a sequel to a, a, a previous entry or again, like I said, you could reboot it once again. You could give us a sequel to the reboot from 2009 or if you don't want to do that for whatever reason you think you can make money, make up the money you lost in court some other way, then don't bring adult Jason back. Do something else, but still, still call it Friday the 13th. So honestly, at this stage, I hope Victor and Sean can come to a conclusion or a resolution that would allow us to get a resurgence of Jason Voorhees to see him on the big screen once again. But if they don't, then I guess we would have to kiss this character goodbye. And at that point, I would just be hoping that Freddy joins in at some point because Freddy is another horror villain that I would love to get another movie from. I would love to see a better film than what we got in 2010. But let me know what you guys think about the Jason update down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there is any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.